but we have a radical expression and the radical is not yet isolated. First step is to subtract x from both sides. Now that the radical is isolated, square both sides. Okay, uh, negative 1 times negative 1 is going to give me positive 1. So I'm going to go ahead and eliminate that 1 and then take the radicand. 4 minus 16x equals, I'm going to rewrite this slightly differently, negative x plus 4 squared. If you multiply that out, there's a couple ways you can do this, but let's go ahead and multiply it out using FOIL. First terms, negative x squared is x squared. Outer is minus 4x. Inner terms, minus 4x. Last terms, 16. So this is going to be x squared minus 8x plus 16. No x right there, just plus 16. So this is 4 minus 16x equals x squared minus 8x plus 16. Now I just need to solve. So let's simplify by combining some like terms. Subtract 4 from both sides. 16x equals x squared minus 8x. 16 minus 4 is 12. So I have a negative 16x. Add 16x to both sides. This is 0 equals x squared. 16x minus 8x is plus 8x plus 12. So now I have a trinomial that's pretty easy to factor out. So let's solve this by factoring. 0 equals, I have positives here. So it's going to be x plus the other factor times x plus the other factor. Factors of 12. Well, I have 12 times 1. But the sum of those two needs to be 8. And that, so it's not correct. 12 plus 1 is 13. Second set of factors for 12 is 6 and 2. 6 times 2 is 12, and 6 plus 2 is 8. So that satisfies this equation. So x plus 2 times x plus 6. And you can always check this yourself by multiplying out and making sure you get back that trinomial. So now I'm going to use the zero product property. x plus 2 equals 0. x plus 6 equals 0. This is going to give me x equals negative 2 and x equals negative 6. So I have two solutions, and I need to go check these back in the original equation. Okay, so the original equation up here, I'm going to first check x equals negative 2. So that's going to give me negative 2 minus the square root of 4 minus 16 times negative 2 equals 4. So that's negative 2 minus the square root of 4 Minus, negative 16, minus 16 times negative 2. 16 times 2 is 32, so this is negative 32. 16 times negative 2 equals 4. Continue to simplify. A negative times a negative gives me a positive, which is good because then this works out to 4 plus 32, which is a nice perfect square. I go ahead and take that square root, which is 6. So negative 2 minus 6 is negative 8. Negative 8 does not equal 4. So when I substituted a negative 2 here, this solution did not check out. This is not valid. I need to check my second solution. And that second solution is negative 6. So I'm going to go ahead and try that. Negative 6 minus the square root of 4 minus 16 times negative 6 equals 4. Okay, so that's going to give me negative 6, the square root of 16 times negative 6 is 96. I'm going to go ahead and combine a couple steps here. So 16 times negative 6 is 
negative 96, then, but this is a negative outside, so that negative times the negative becomes positive 96 equals 4. So this is negative 6 minus the square root of 100 equals 4, or negative 6, the square root of 100 is 10, minus 10 equals 4. Negative 6 minus 10 equals negative 16, and that does not equal 4. So that is also not a valid solution. So here, the solution is just the empty set. There is no solution. There are no real solutions to this equation. And I came up with two solutions by solving this by my usual methods. But those turned out to both be extraneous solutions, as neither one of them checked out in this original equation. Today on Educator.com, we learned about how to solve radical equations. And I will see you again for the next lesson.